Welcome to my review of the 76208 LEGO Marvel 4 Love and Thunder The Goat Boat. This set comes with 564 pieces, one build, and five minifigures. The first minifigure we have up here is Thor's. This is in his Love and Thunder outfit with the blue and gold. He comes with the new designed Stormbreaker axe, redesigned from 2018. Um, he comes with a red cape and Qui-Gon Jinn's hair in dark tan. He does also include a second face with his lightning eyes, as I like to call it, and him charging up. But, uh, yeah, all around a great figure to have. The next minifigure we have up here is the Mighty Thor. This is the Jane Foster Thor from the movie. She comes in the same outfit, or I guess the, it's the same minifigure as the $20 set we reviewed a few months back. Um, we don't talk about the timeline of things. She comes with the Mjolnir hammer piece. And uh, Sam head as the other set. So the, of course, the new and exclusive helmet mold piece. It was like a, um, a red cape and a second face. I don't know what much to talk about um, here. But yeah, all around, great figure. Next up here, we have the King Valkyrie minifigure. She comes in her Thor Love and Thunder outfit with the blue cape and the Asgardian armor. She comes with a small sword, but size matters not. Um, and if I can stand her up, she has two, uh, not two, she has, comes with, just, I can't speak. She comes with an alternative face. But, uh, yeah, I can't remember, I can't tell if this hair is exclusive or not to the figure, so I'm not gonna say anything about it. But, yeah, all around, another great the figure. The other exclusive figure to the set is Korg. I don't know if I mentioned, but the Valkyrie is exclusive. Um, he comes in the, he comes with the same head, um, new headpiece, and also, um, face print as the other Korg that we got last year with, not last year, in 2021, with the Bro Thor's new Asgard house thing, um, he comes with this cool mace kind of weapon. Like I said, he is exclusive to the set. Um, and he also has, I don't know what to call this, around his neck. Um, I'm failing. My knowledge is failing me. And last up here, we have Gore. Nothing new or special here. It's the same as the other set but still all around a great figure he comes with the black sword like he does like the other figure um no uh no alternate face print no leg printing it does come with back printing but yeah honestly pretty boring figure if i'm being honest but still well, great inclusion to have and uh, doesn't want to focus on him there we go now technically the set comes with two other characters and the goats um, but they are brick built, so I wouldn't consider them minifigures. Um, but they look really amazing. Both of them are different from each other. It's like, you can tell. Um, they are, the faces are printed on a 1x2 inverted slope, so you can see there. Um, they do have stickers on the back for the back for printing. They are attached to this rod which attaches them to the goat actual boat itself, making it the goat boat. But uh, yeah, all around, great, um, not that bad of a build for the uh, for the set. Could have been better, but they still look great, and honestly, the goats were my favorite characters from the movie. Onto the actual goat boat itself. It comes with a lot of detail. Not many play features, but a lot of detail. Um, at the front here, you can see this is where the goats attach. You can see some sk sticker detailing there, which looks really nice. Um, also at the front here, you can see we have the two heads of the ship. As well as right here is a spot that you can put... Sorry, I was pointing the camera away. The Stormbreaker Axe. Let me do that real quickly. So you can see that in there on the clip, and it's using a battle droid arm to attach it. Um, around 
Moving around, we have sticker detailing all around with the Asgard Tours logo there on the boat, on the side of the boat. It's actually on both sides with the stickers. Uh, moving along, we have these cool Viking shields that are on both sides with four different details. Uh, with not just details, designs um, that you can see there. Uh, moving around, we have a little shed, like shack part, which you can actually open up. And inside is, can't tell if that's a weapon or not, and a fire extinguisher. And then on the other side, we have a map, I'm assuming, and a bottle. Moving around back, we have some clips that you can attach some of the weapons from the characters, as well as these two serpent snakes, uh attached by clips with a little sticker de de detailing here with the NA021. I'm guessing that's what boat this is. New NA standing for New Asgard, uh, if you weren't sure. Um, I am missing a Viking shield on this side, if you're wondering, but I just had to, I'm, I'm reviewing the set either way because that doesn't affect it too much. But all around, this is a very... So, that is my review of the 76208 LEGO Marvel for Love and Thunder, The Goat Boat. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're not here. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the video. And until next time, bye.